Uh, but yeah, uh... Hello, hello, it's been a while. Uh, right now, just kinda going on a ride, but wanted to catch up with you guys and see what's going on in your world. Um, a lot has gone on since I posted my last video. The viruses have gone around, you know, people have been on lockdown, working from home, losing jobs, businesses closing down. Hopefully, none of that is affecting you guys, but um, let me know down below. I'm curious as to how you guys are holding up. Um, currently, I'm just going for a ride at the store to get out of the house. Um, this past week, I've had to work from home, which it, it hasn't been that bad. It's been kind of nice, but the only, the only downside is the gym's closed, so I can't go to the gym after work. Um, and then on the weekends, there's no real like nightlife, you know? Um, you basically, like not necessarily like clubs, but just in general, everything's shut down. You can't even go out to eat. Um, you can get takeout. We actually, we actually got Longhorn takeout, and uh, in order to get it, we called them up, ordered, gave them the credit card information over the phone, and then we just pulled up and they uh, and they brought it to the car wearing gloves and everything, you know? So that was very interesting, and also it was very weird eating Longhorn, like taking it out, bringing it home. Um, the way they packaged it up is not really that appetizing, to be honest. Everything's just kind of like separated out, you know? It's, it's not like your meal that they serve you at the, uh, at the actual restaurant. But that makes sense, though, because you can't necessarily, uh, that road shut down. I mean, I get it. It makes sense. But anyway, I'm just checking in. I want to see how you guys are doing. Hopefully everybody's holding up well. Uh, let me know how you guys have, uh, or what you guys have been doing, how it's affecting you. If you're working from home, if you lost your job, if you're, you know, out of school for the next handful of weeks to a month or so. Um, I know around here, at least like high school and below, that stuff has been um, shut down until I believe like the end of April. So it's like a whole nother month. So I don't know, that's just as of right now. It seems like every other day they keep changing it up a little bit. Oh, wow, look, there's a new library that they're making. That's pretty cool. That's really close to the road though. Dang, this is the back end here. It's kinda cool. Limit your contact with individuals, as they say. They keep saying, uh, oops, the CD's falling out. I hit the eject button, oopsie. They keep saying uh, to practice social distancing. It's more like physical distancing. You still be social. I mean, it's 2020, man. You, you can text, you can FaceTime, whatever. So you're still socializing. It's just you need to limit your physical activity with people or physical, uh, never mind, contact with people. But heading to the store now, uh, gonna pick up some fluid film. I just wanna spray it underneath my vehicle. Winter is terrible up here. Um, the salt just like eats it away. It's, it's really bad. Dude, where is the fluid film? Oh, what did he hear?
this? Check these out. Look at what we found at a uh, little Walmart. I like the Flamin' Hot actual Cheetos, so I'm really curious to see how these are. Flamin' Hot popcorn. <laughs> curious, has anybody had these? I've never had the extra toasty, so I have no idea what to expect for these, but these are the only ones that were in the store that I could get. Uh, so hopefully they're not too bad. Anyway, that's all we get. So to keep things a little bit fun, I, uh, <laughs> this is so weird. I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this. For whatever reason in my mind, I'm like, deodorant can't be like good for you. You know, it's like this layer of gel or whatever powdery substance of some sort that you put underneath your arms, or maybe it's like a spray, but I feel like it just can't be good for you. Right. And there are like natural ones and they're not always that great. Like you do start smelling after a little bit. Um, but anyway, so for like, I often get really dry underneath in my armpits and for this, this week, since I've been home, like and I wake up in the morning, I don't necessarily take a shower. I usually shower at night right now. So, I mean, I usually shower at night all the time, but I don't really have to like get ready, if you will, in order to go to work now. Um, so this past week, this may be gross for some of you, but I, uh, or maybe it's just completely normal for some of you, but it's like, eh, let's just not wear deodorant for this week. Cause you know, when we were, you know, thousands of years ago, there's no, uh, there's no such thing as deodorant. I don't know what they would use, but it wouldn't be like what it is today. So who knows how good it is to like keep that, uh, like waxy or no. Not necessarily waxy, but like gel-like substance underneath your arms just to make it so you don't stink. You know, so like, I just want to see what it would be like. And they actually, they they got really, uh, they're, like, they're not really that dry anymore. Um, I have since broken that uh, that streak of not wearing deodorant. I think it was five days that I made it, but <clears throat> um, yeah. And I don't really know why I told you guys that. It's, it's like really random, but that's just something fun I did to kind of spice it up. So what are you guys doing? What do you, how are you keeping yourselves busy and active and, and not going crazy? I know if those of you are in school, some of you like have online classes and stuff now, but um, just curious to see like how life has changed for you this past week and then going forward. This is just beginning, man. So might as well start documenting, documenting, document, documenting. There we go, words uh, words matter. And they're hard sometimes. Okay, this is my current view. Uh, just kind of curious to see what you guys have had to do in order to stay sane. Let me know down below and uh, per perhaps there'll be a part two or a follow up uh, to this little video. But again, this is Sunday night and I'm just heading home. Uh, I went to, I, so I, I, I looked for an excuse to get out of the house this time and I was like, hey, I need to go pick up some fluid film. And I took the long way to Walmart, went to Walmart, and I don't know if I'll include it or not, but I took a little bit of a video. I don't know how it's gonna come out. I didn't put it in 120 FPS, so I can't slow it down or speed, I'm sorry, I can't speed it up. <clears throat> I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's all I got to say, dude. So hopefully uh, you're staying healthy, have a good night, and I will see you I'll see you on the stream for 100 gigs. I need to stop what, touching my face. I'm gonna get the disease or the virus because uh, I was just out in public and I haven't washed my hands yet. Oh no. But yeah, that's what picked up. <laughs> Not what I went to get at all, but uh, yeah, it's really all this just junk food. Except, I mean, the, pup, the, the pretzels aren't bad, but the other stuff isn't that great for you. It's good to catch up with you guys. This is kind of fun, to be honest, like just talking to a camera. It's kind of weird though when you put it out there for everybody to see, but anywho, stay safe dudes and maybe I'll make another video follow up. Anyway, let me know if you want to see anything special. I'll see you dudes later. Have a good night. Peace.